going to be a new day for you. All right, it's going to be a great weekend in Connecticut. Amber Dane Dino is here with a look at what's going on. And it really is a jam-packed weekend, the weekend before Thanksgiving. Oh I feel like a lot of people are going to be also just trying to get ready for family to come around or travel. There is so much going on, so much activities, and there's a lot of great movies coming out this weekend, and one that has Oscar buzz already. Now, I got a chance to see the extended uh, press premiere, trailer, whatever you want to call it. Will Smith as King Richard is brilliant. Based on the true story that will inspire the world, King Richard follows the journey of Richard Williams, an undeterred father, instrumental in raising two of the most extraordinarily gifted athletes of all time who will end up changing the sport of tennis forever. Driven by a clear vision of their future and using unconventional methods, Richard has a plan that will take Venus and Serena, yep, Williams from the streets of Compton, California, to the global stage as legendary icons. King Richard is profoundly moving, and this shows the power of family, perseverance, and unwavering belief as it means to achieve the impossible and impact the world. Take a look. Chances of achieving the kind of success that you're talking about is just very, very unlikely. Okay, you're making a mistake, but I'm gonna let you make it. Watch me hit a few balls. All right. So tell me your names again. I'm Venus. I'm Serena. What'd you think? I think you might just have the next Michael Jordan. Oh, no, <laughs> brother man. I got me the next, too. This next step, you got to take. You're not going to just be representing you. You're going to be representing every little black girl on Earth. They're not going to let you doubt. How could you? Okay. Wow. I need a wow. moment because that scene, when you watch that whole scene, it's so powerful. And I encourage families to go and see it together because it is truly a beautiful film. And, and Will's getting Oscar buzz once again wow. for it. Oh, King great. Richard, okay. Wow. All right. That's great. Ghostbusters Afterlife, I don't know if there'll be an Oscar, but it's a single mom and her two kids. They arrive in a small town. They begin to discover their connection to the original Ghostbusters and the secret legacy their grandfather left behind. It stars Paul Redd, some of the kids from uh, Stranger Things. Take a look. My grandfather died. My mom says we're just here to pick through the rubble of his life. Wait a minute. Who are you? It has a gunner seat? Funny music. Yeah, dun, I was waiting for dun, 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 dun. who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. But this will be good because you know uh, the, the Stranger Things characters that'll draw some new interest too. You are so right on that. So definitely one for the whole family to watch once again. Maybe a little older kid. Here's another movie that's up for Oscar contention. Here, Halle Berry stars and directs Bruised. She plays Jackie Justice, a mixed martial artist fighter who leaves the sport in disgrace after a bout goes awry. She's down on her luck. She's simmering with rage and regret years after the fight. She's coaxed into a brutal underground fight by her manager and boyfriend, Bruised marks the directorial debut of Academy Award winner Halle Berry in a triumphant story of a fighter who reclaims her power in and out of the ring. Take a look. Look who it is! All the way from UFC, Jackie Justice! You want to fight or run? I know you'd like to run. That's all I wish you did. I'm offering you a second chance. You gonna take it? Yeah, I'm gonna take it. The technique is lacking. I got five other girls, all stronger, faster, younger. I'm sorry, I just don't see it. You used to be Jackie Justice. Still am. Yeah, she still got something. Welcome back. Shout out to my mom. Yeah, so oh. it's a little something for everyone this holiday weekend. Halle Berry in Bruised. All right, now for the weekend events. Can you believe Thanksgiving next week? There's holiday strolls, shopping, tree lightings, and a whole lot more. And, well, I'm very sorry for focusing on this, but I need to get support for Special Olympics Connecticut. You know, I'm jumping in the sound for 24 hours starting tomorrow. It is 1 tomorrow to one Sunday at the Elks Lodge in Westbrook. There's a public jump at noon that I know, Kara and Scott, you're leading that off. Feel free to join me <laughs> as we raise money for Special Olympics. You said yes, right, Kara? 
Yeah, I mean, when is busy. it? <laughs> she's it's, super you're gonna busy. Jump on set, and I ha I bought waiters. I'm jumping oh. in with Sergeant Mortashevitz from the Hartford Police Department. We're going to be going in. That's Sergeant Mortashevitz right there. You can go online to give.soct.org. Look for Team Shock and Thaw. And I bought a onesie. Pray for me. This is what I'm wearing. I bought a hairnet. That's me. I tried on my outfit. The boots are attached. That's and awesome. It's a onesie. So hopefully I don't get too wet with my waiters. I, I think That's it's great. Cheating. Cheating. Well, I mean, she's, it's I not just a one-time plunge. They have to go it's in it every hour. Hours. It's cheating. The, uh, okay, yeah. Well, let's move on. It's not cheating. I looked at the rules. I'm going in the water. Wow. All right. The annual Channel 3 Kids Camp Holiday Light Fantasia is a 2.2-mile stretch of lights. This year will be an amazing 65 displays, including 10 new ones with multiple panels showcasing over 1 million lights. Each vehicle, only $20, should drive through. $16 if you purchase online. All proceeds Perfect. go towards the Channel 3 Kids Camp. And Mark Dixon's going to be turning on the lights today. That's right. Yeah. He'll be there. Live. Officially starting from Thanksgiving through January 2nd. Also starting today, Magic of Lights. It runs through January 2nd, a family-friendly drive through holiday lights festival with a tremendous amount of twinkling and magical light displays to celebrate the grandest holiday of the year. You can enjoy the lights <coughs> and displays from the safety and comfort of your own car. It features a variety of festive scenes, including Candyland, Toyland, Sports Road, 12 Days of Christmas, and a whole lot more, and an enchanting tunnel of lights at Rentschler Field. Wow. This weekend, a Friday night at the XL Center, is the WWE SmackDown. And tomorrow, it's UConn men's basketball against Binghamton during the day and Wolfpack hockey at night, if you're interested in that. Saturday, I know I've been driving Scott crazy all day singing this, Kara. This is why you were singing. Kara, I love this song. Tell me if you like this one. My baby takes the morning train. That I wasn't was so on key. key. I know. I do apologize, Sheena Easton. If you're listening right now, don't leave Connecticut. You're playing for free. How do I get out of here? Tomorrow at the Wolf Den for 8 p.m. I'm not a singer. I'm not Adele. You are a singer. Well, I can't sing. It's too high for me. Anyway, Saturday also in the Premier Theater at Foxwoods Resort Casino. It's Chelsea Handler for her. I don't know. Can I say this? Maybe we'll just skip it and you can look at your screen for the name of her tour. I feel uncomfortable. Move on. Um, so anyway, <laughs> now, while New York has the Macy's Day Parade, we have one in Stanford. In close consultation with public health officials and community leaders, Stanford Downtown has designed a parade spectacular park party that can safely accommodate an audience of young and old and with the energy and excitement that have brought the community together for years. So it's this Sunday before Thanksgiving. Uh, you can go down. It's for free. Lots of oh, uh, awesome. floats and parades and dancing. It starts at noon. Also Sunday, it's the Old Weathersfield 5K and 10K uh, Sunday morning race tradition. It returns. It's a new date. Usually it's in the summer this year. It's all about the holidays. You're going to help us fill the table for neighbor neighbors in need if you run the single loop 5K or double loop 10K through historic Queen Streets with a finish in scenic Weathersfield Cove. And they're going to be asking you to bring non-perishable food items to and help feed our neighbors. we're going to be there December 2nd for the uh, holiday stroll. We're lighting the lights. Lighting the lights. Lighting the lights in December old 2nd Weathersfield. December 2nd from 5 o'clock yep. on. Yep. It's going to be fun. Have a lot of fun.